Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there lived a beautiful princess by the name of Snow White. Kind and pure of heart, she was the fairest in the land until she was banished to the enchanted forest by the evil queen. Escaping from the hands of a woodsman, she found a small abandoned cottage and decided that here she would start her own legacy. Hey guys, welcome to the Disney Princess Challenge with our first generation uh, Princess Snow White. Yeah, she doesn't look like the traditional, typical Snow White. Stop moving woman she doesn't look like the typical uh snow white she's actually designed off the snow white from once upon a time that's where i'm getting a lot of uh, influences from i've been watching that tv series and i absolutely love it it's a really good twist on fairy tales i just i just love it and also uh jennifer goodwin as mary margaret snow white is like the best the best and i based around what she would look like in the enchanted forest and so we're, this is actually a very different design on the uh, Disney Princess Challenge. So instead of doing uh, how it normally, what the actual challenge looks like, I'm actually doing it in terms of, uh, I'm actually doing it in terms of movie release. So it goes, uh, obviously Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Pocahontas, Mulan, Tiana, Rapunzel, Elsa, and Anna, Mer Merida, and then uh, Moana. So it's actually going to be a 13 generation Lego. See, because I'm doing every Disney princess, including Merida, because I want to put on my Scottish accent when I get to her generation. So obviously, I have also bent the rules as well. I've switched up the rules, made new ones. I uh, kept a lot of the original rules as well, especially for Snow White. So the rules for Snow White are she must have the following traits of music lover, romantic, and family orientated of which she has. She also needs to have the soulmate aspiration and she must complete it. Every princess has a aspiration that they must complete before their legacy ends. She's got to have her seven children. There's a bunch, there's seven negative traits that they've all got to have. Gloomy, hot-headed, clumsy, erratic, lazy, slob, squeamish. That's the ones. They've all got to have the same father, obviously, and they've all got to achieve one thing before their teenagers. Level, get level five in one toddler skill, level three in all of them to get the happy childhood trait, complete a childhood aspiration, or become a grade A student. And of course, Snow can't answer the door or talk to strange women. However, that doesn't mean that she can't go to South Square Market, a little market I have made, to help meet a man. And we're going to go and find ourselves a man in this first episode. We need to find the Prince Charming, our baby daddy. We need to make sure that she can marry them. And, you know, get free babysitting, essentially, because we're going to give them a key so they're always just showing up. Alright, it's a snowy day. It's a sun snowy day. We're here at the uh, South Square Market. It's still a coffee cafe area, but it's also now just uh, a little marketplace as well. You can hire these vendors. I'm actually going to just hire vendors for all of them quickly. So... I'm just giving her the extra 600, which doesn't count, just so we can hire vendors for all three of these people. Because yes, we've also got the magical uh, vendors here as well. So that should all help. Also, Rumpelstiltskin is in this save. Uh, he is designed after Rumpelstiltskin, Mr. Gold from Once Upon a Time. Mostly his enchanted forest form. But I did that so he would be in the uh, series as sort of a like... He's like the fairy godmother, but, you know, a bit more of a weird fairy godmother. He'll give you things, but, you know, you got to do something in return for them. But we need to find a man and... Uh, who is that? It's Gunter. Gunter, aren't you married, Gunter? I'm not sure you are, but looking at you, I'm not sure if you'll be what we need. Because, no offense, buddy, but that mustache is not something that we appreciate. I mean, he's not too bad looking, but... I don't know. We could go with Sergio. We could go. It depends on who turns up. Unfortunately, a lot of the married uh, men are turning up. But right now, she is just in a lovely conversation with a load of people. I like how Mortimer is just being like, Oh, Snow White, you are the fairest maiden in the land. How lovely of you to be here. And none of this like single sims that I want to show up are showing up. Also, Robin Hood's knocking about in the background as well. I had to make another like fairy tale sim just to put down so I could open up this save because I had a bit of a problem with uh was that Supriya I mean we could use Don if Don's ever around did we not oh we can only have like three vendors maybe at least have all the vendors show up 
Who's astral projecting? I don't know, that's a random person. Come on, we need a prince. We need a prince. Give me a prince. Give me someone princely. You're not princely, plus I think you're married. And for the record, I'm going pre-made townies. Who knows what the game will generate? It's easy just to go for someone who already exists in the game, but there's no one around and it's snowing. There's no one around, it's snowing, and all the ones that have shown up are married. And teenagers. Who's our other astral projection? Because I put these three down because they look pretty cool. And also, this is like the enchanted forest kind of thing. That is a woman. Cool. This is going off to a great style. We don't have our princess, our prince charming yet. Might have to go to another place in a little bit. There is a pub actually like right near where she lives. So we might have to go around there. There's also... Vendors over here. Yeah, there's not a lot going on here. Nobody of what we are looking for is around, and it's mostly just yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try another place. We need, we need like someone. We need someone. There's plenty of eligible bachelors. There's Akira. There's Salim. There's no Morgan's not an option. He can't have kids. There's uh. I'd say Simeon, but Simeon is a spellcaster, and we can't have a spellcaster for a while. We need to get vampires at one point. All right, let's try the uh, the Shrieking Llama pub because it's right next to our little cottage where we live. Which, by the way, has a ley line, it's homey, and child's play because we're going to need those traits. Because one, we need to get seven kids, and we need to get them in the quickest amount of time, which means a set of triplets and two sets of twins. But we need to make sure that one of, at least one of them is a girl because we're going to need our Princess Cinderella for the next generation. I am also doing normal lifespan, although I have turned it off briefly because I've just started this and I need to uh, get a start on finding my prince. Oh, is my... Oh, I haven't changed my seasons. I didn't change my seasons. I started in spring, but I didn't change the season times. So we can't have a normal lifespan in 28 days worth of... Uh, Seasons, let's just go for two weeks apiece. That's uh, that's a bit better for a uh, seasonal lifespan. There's nobody here. All right, let's see if the nightclub ha will help us out. We've already got a t Jay, it's Ava again. Man, she's a bartender everywhere. We got my cute little place over here, which is sadly not open. Is that? That's Dwayne. Oh, Dwayne, you'd be perfect if you weren't a teenager. Oh, is that? That is Daryl Chump. I, I'd use Daryl, but whoever designed him clearly decided to smack him with an ugly stick. As mean as that sounds. Oh look, it's Nancy. Land grab. Oh boy. Oh boy. Who have we got over here? We got Whitney. Oh, we got Joaquin. Joaquin, Baco again, but Joaquin. Joaquin, hold still, buddy. Let me get your lucky side profile. Side profiles are very important. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps we'll at least say hello to him and see if we can get some good chemistry with him. But should any other eligible bachelors show up, then we are definitely going to uh, meet with them. I mean... I've I've altered his face before. I would do it again because boy I don't know what happened to you but you need a fairy godmother or rumpel stilt skin to fix whatever it is wrong with. I know this sounds really mean, but uh just there were some issues with the realm of magic pack, like some of the house well just the houses really, but you know, you make the beautiful it's because they put all the effort into making Morgan. They made Morgan so freaking beautiful. That they just was just like, you know what, well, let's not bother with anyone else. Let's not bother with anyone else. And speaking of which, I haven't actually seen Rumpel show up. I've not seen Rumpel Stilts can actually show up. I've put him down. He's got every spell. I had to put him down twice because if you put someone down that's not in a current household that you're playing in, they don't retain all their spells. So there's like this weird workaround with magic. But he is like an all powerful spellcaster. Brittany Cho is here. Joaqu She's chatting with Joaquin. Let's get to know him a bit more because, you know, we have to... We're lowering our standards with every every second that goes by because we can't find 
Man, and of course Brittany has to worm her way into every thing. Oh, hey, it's Robin Hood. It's Robin Hood. You're just designed to be a background character, but you are kind of cute. And if I have to, I might have to make you my baby daddy. All right, get to know each of them. We already know that Joaquin is a music lover. We'll get to know Daryl and see what's up with him. And we'll also learn something about Robin Hood as well. Because, I mean, Robin Hood is the most basic kind of thing. He steals from the rich to give to the poor. He also doesn't have a house right now. He is kind of homeless. So we've got Joaquin, we have Daryl, and Robin Hood. Daryl is a bookworm. Interesting, interesting. I think he, there's like a couple more positive traits about him. I don't think he has a job. Robin is a bro. He is a bro who will totally like, let, just like, just help you out when you're in a bit of a. Then Daryl is an office assistant at Dewey Cheatman How. <laughs> so he's got a job. So that's definitely a bonus. So you can already have deep conversations with them. Discuss interests with you. Can we get to know him a bit more? Do we have to wait? I think you have to wait on it. I'm going to need to send her to the bathroom in a minute. She also finished her drink. Didn't get drunk. Alright, let's see if we can get some more interesting facts. Out of our three contenders, this is like the world's worst version of Bachelor. <laughs> Bachelorette, right. Now we've got Joaquin, we've got Daryl, we've got Robin Hood. Who do you go with? A thief, a spellcaster, or a guy who has no taste whatsoever? Uh, we're going to have to pick one soon. Okay, evidently Robin Hood has decided to leave, so now it's just down to uh, Charming or the Phoenix. So continue chatting and see. Uh, maybe not so much whoever becomes friends with her first, more of who is the last one left talking to her at this point. Oh, we got more people. We got Bob Pancakes. We have Cameron Fletcher, who is our resident bartender for the night. And we got a couple more just randos showing up. All right. Well, she's going to sat down next to Daryl. That's Looking good for him. His little green bar is a little bit higher than Joaquin's green bar. He is also drunk as hell. Apparently. Yeah, you need some fun and fast. As part of the fact that Snow, Snow White has to complete the soulmate aspiration, so she will have to go on at least two dates and make a future baby daddy a boyfriend before all the kids start being created. So let's continue on with the chatting to see who will be left first. We are now into half 12 and Joaquin has left. Congratulations, Daryl. We're going to fix your face and you're going to be the the one who helps us start this legacy. I mean, his last name is Charm. Charming. Daryl Charm. D whatever. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Charm. Okay. I'm going to head on home because I need to eat and I need to have fun, but we'll call you and we'll call a plastic surgeon as well. Yeah, I'm being so mean to him, but don't worry. He's going to look gorgeous when I'm finished with him. All right, we are back home. All right, let's get some foodies on the table. We also need to buy as many seed packets as we can so we can start uh, growing flowers and stuff, or at least growing fruit and veg and stuff. So, fruits, herbs, magic plants, because that's always fun, and vegetables. Because she's not going to have a job, so... Because why would Snow White need a job? Also, I have child support turned on, so... We're going to get a lot of money. Well, I say that. We're going to get some money. I think I've maxed it so the, the child support thing is 2%. But... We picked our baby daddy. We picked our baby daddy. I said I was going to do a poll and then I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to do a poll because Robin left first. And he was just like, yeah, I'm not into this. And then Joaquin left because apparently he wasn't into it. And Daryl stayed, but he is... We also know he has a job. He is also a spellcaster. So when we get to... Elsa and Anna, because Elsa's gonna have to be the one that's a spellcaster. Also, we have a, um, uh, 
uh, make a wish. We can wish for romance. Let's wish for romance and see what happens. That could also help. She's put her music on. She's put Latin pop on. Fair enough. We don't have a TV in this house. Because why would we need a TV? Oh, she's enough. She got into a romantic, like, feeling after that. Might be because we chose Daryl, perhaps. But she's got a little salad. She's listening to a little music. Which we're going to have her stop doing. And then we're going to have her start... Oh, who's that driving past? Riding past, rather, on a bike. So many people on bikes. It's Miko. That's cool. And God, everyone's on bikes now. Now that they've... Please tell me that's not Bella Goth in her dress on a bike. Is it? It's Bella Goth in her formal wear on a bike. Honey, it's not how dresses work. She, just <laughs> she needs to get to the wedding no matter what. Boyfriend right behind me watching. But we're eating. I still need to turn aging on. I'll do that for the next episode. But it's 14 days into spring. Well, it's the first of 14 days into spring. Normal uh, seasons will work, I think, for this one. As will a normal lifespan. It'll get us through the generations a bit quicker. But of course, Snow ain't going to age when she's getting prego. And she is going to live a long time because of all those kids. Daryl probably will reach uh, adult stage before that but we're gonna wish for romance see how that works but because snow is such a good person she has to clean up before she goes and talks to the wishing well she's also blushing like a cherry red tomato right now oh what was her uh personality thing it gave her the provider yep very very accurate for snow because she provides for the kingdom she is queen technically i mean there's an evil queen i haven't put it down yet but she'll be around and what does, what did Mr. Uh, Mr. Wishingwell say? Nothing sets the tone like a night romance, like a little flirting. Well, what's Snow waiting for? Go paint the town red or pink as it were. Oh, it just gave her the little love hearts. Okay. Ah, uh, she's going off to sleep. As uh, so well. We can't open the door for strangers or old women. However, the rules don't say that you can't open the door for people you already know. So, should Clara, Mila, Robin, Joaquin, or Daryl ever show up to the house, we can just invite them right on in. And also, if we go upstairs, because I did build this house, we have the seven little beds for the seven little dwarfs all ready and set up. Because I had to build the house first, and I was like, I need there to be at least enough space for seven toddler beds. Which was decent. The hard part is going to be getting seven child-sized beds in when this... uh when this house is built. Also, I got the anniversary a hot tub in it, because it actually looks kind of cool with this little, like, gazebo bit on top. I just think it's amazing. I love how I used that, and there was no point, because... Oh, honey, you got a minor breakout. We're gonna have to put you in a slice of life thing as well, because she's gotta look good. She's gotta look good. If Rumpelstiltskin ever shows up, we'll chat to him. He might be able to give us a potion to help with that. Oh, we're gonna need a potion, actually. We are definitely going to need to get a potion from him. And let's, do you know what, let's go and find Rumple, good old Rumple. Good old Rumple von Stiltskin. I also want to introduce him as well, because he is a, he was such a fun character. I mean, I spent like three hours in my test save getting him to have a, getting him to have every single spell and potion available. So, I don't know where she's going off to already she's she wants to start dancing honey 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 we gotta go to glimmerbrooks we gotta go and meet with a certain we have to meet with a certain rumple stiltskin so we can ask him for some help because snow white has found her prince charming and obviously in order to successfully keep prince charming we're gonna have to use a little bit of magic and what better way than to go to find to Rumpel, find Rumpel von Stilskin, who lives in a tier 3 tiny home. It's literally 100 tiles. Oh, in the very, very flirty mood. Now, she's in a very flirty mood. Okay, knock on the door of Rumpel von Stilskin. Oh, he's out in this garden. That's so cool. Also, check out his garden. He's got the magic bean tree. He's got the abandoned mine and the sylvan glade tree. 
and also a thing of stuff. Cool. So head on through. I like how he's up at four in the morning. Do not do, do not flirtily introduce yourself to Rumpel von Stiltskin. Rumpel Stiltskin is basically like a fairy godmother or a weird like a. Uh, uh, basically like a weird demigod also like powerful he is the dark one essentially yeah he's also boiling apparently oh no he's just ill but he is rumple von Stiltskin, as you can see wearing a cool little like cloak and stuff and also he's basically got like a glittery skin in the show he's actually scaly like a crocodile because he is the beast rumple Stiltskin, and the crocodile from peter pan all rolled into one but Go and chat with him. He's just like, oh, hello, dearie. How did you end up coming into my uh, domain, as it were? Okay. And now she is saying, well, the evil queen has banished me to the uh, enchanted forest. And I want to start my own legacy and sort of, you know, stick it to her. And I found the perfect man, but I have to make sure that he falls in love with me for me. I don't know how I can do that, but I'm sure you have a way. Rumpelstiltskin's family orientated. He's also romantic as well. And, oh, what was the other one I gave him? I gave him another trait. I can't remember what it was. But he would definitely be able to help you. So now that he's invited you inside because you just wandered into his garden. Oh god, where'd she go? There she is. He's like, try this to help you with your little uh, predicament. And she, oh, she's very happy about that gift and he gave her a potion of alluring aura which will make those around the drinker more receptive to romantic conversation perfect for if she wants to get her to get him on her side rumpel is also a romantic again i forgot what his third trait is what did i make it i can't remember but thank you rumpel we're gonna go home now because we can but thank you for the potion of uh, alluring aura. I don't like that she's been in the flight mode around Rumpelstiltskin the whole time. That's kind of weird. But also, nobody's meant to fall in love with Rumpelstiltskin. Technically, the only person who should is Belle. But in my legacy challenge rules, Belle kind of has to marry a vampire. That's just how it goes. All right, we're back home. Let's have breakfast now. And actually, oh no, yeah, it's like six in the morning. So if we need to have breakfast. We need to not go woohooing in our bed because that's just not good. We've also got music playing. I'm not sure why she listens to Latin pop. That's kind of cool. Some of them are quite good. All right. Regular pop. She's also teleporting around kind of creepily. But who knows? Maybe some people will come running by. This is the Shrieking Llama pub. I might change that to the Hobgoblin, which is the pub that I made. And I haven't used it yet, but it's actually a really cute little pub. We based it around an actual pub that uh, is in my boyfriend's hometown. Uh, it's called the... I think it's, it's still called the Hobgoblin, isn't it? Yeah, it's still called the Hobgoblin. Oh no, it's now called the Bell. But it used to be called the Hobgoblin. But we're going to use... We've got a potion of aura. A potion of alluring aura. Makes us more receptive to romantic com conversation. We also have our magic wishing well, who is very happy about giving us the ultimate flirting power, though we're probably going to wait around for that. And Rumpelstiltskin was kind enough to give us a, uh, give us the potion as well. So, you know, I mean, I know Rumpel's like a bad guy, I think. You know, he's a bad guy and a good guy. He's confusing. All I know is that he's a, he, in this series, he's going to be hanging around the background, giving everyone advice like the weirdest fairy godmother that you could ever ask for. So, with all that said and done, we're gonna eat, we're gonna have fun. We're also gonna use the bathroom, and we are gonna go and find Daryl Charm in the next episode and see about getting the first part of the aspiration completed, or the second part, depending. We could probably get them both done uh, in one episode, because we've gotta go on two dates, so we could just do two dates in a row, essentially, and then get a start on the baby daddy road, because. We need to get those, uh, we need to get those seven dwarves, and also I will edit his face. Might do that after I'm done here. So thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of the Disney Princess Challenge. We are starting with Snow White. I'm wishing for the one I love to find me. Well, we found him. Now I've just got to make him beautiful for you. 
and get us those seven dwarves. I'm not sure how long this uh, series will take, at least this particular part of the generation. It shouldn't take too long because we're going to be trying to get the kids out as fast as we can and then getting all their skills up really, really quickly. Plus, we are going to be on normal lifespan. I've never used normal lifespan, but always good to try new things. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye now.